What we're going to do here is hit a ball between the first baseman and the uh, pitcher, develop some communication between the two. We, we say the first baseman out here, guys, <clears throat> the first baseman is the captain. You make the final decision. If you want to call a ball, you have to call it within three steps. So you throw it, be aware of throwing the ball with good control, then you break to where the ball's hit. Ball's not going to always be hit in the same place, remember, so you read the ball, try to make communication as quickly as you can. If you're going to not feel the ball, you cover the bag, and what you do is come directly toward the baseline until you get about 12 feet from the base. Running as hard as you can here, you cut down the base, run here, tag with your right foot, catch the ball, and run inside. Now, why would you tag the ball with your bag with your right foot? The reason I don't want to tag it with my left foot is because if I come in here with my left foot, my body's in line with the runner. He can take, he can tear me up. He, he cause injuries, and you're liable to drop the ball besides. So I want to stay in. He's got the hold. There's no reason for him to hit you because you got the inside of the bag. Now, if let me see that ball just a second. If by chance this first baseman gets the ball hit hard to him back a little bit, he's got the ball right now, and I'm I'm here. I want to call for the ball. Ball. You give me the ball early, I catch it, now I can tag the bag and I don't have to worry about catching and tagging at the same time. Otherwise, I have to get to the bag, I have to get to the bag in a hurry. I haven't got the ball yet, I stop, wait for the ball, then you throw me the ball. Okay? Now remember, you guys are going to be in a regular position for part of the time. Read the ball, make the play. Here we go. Jeff, you just hit them in between, easy like a bunt play. Not real hard. Yeah, you're throwing, he's playing off you, he's timing you. All right, now let's stop just a second and correct that play. What was wrong with that play? We didn't have a call. Remember, we have to have somebody call the ball. What's the first thing we want to work on is calling the ball. All right, here we go again. Ball, ball, ball. Here. Okay. Ball, bag is what we're going to say. Ball, bag. We want the ball call first. Now, it's better if I say ball, ball, isn't it? Nice and clear, and you say bag. And bag's a secondary call, remember. Nobody calls a bag until the ball is called. Got to get the ball call first. Here we go again. Ball, Atta ball. Baby. Bag. And the bag's a secondary call. All your tag with your right foot and stay on the inside of the baseline. And a baby. Here we go again. Time it off of him, Jeff. As soon as he throws, out of baby. Ball. Bag, that's it. Right foot, right foot, right foot. Stay inside the baseline. If we had a straight line down here, right down through here, we want to stay in this line, come down in here, under control, stop at the bag, catch the ball, stay inside. Go ahead. Ball, ball. A little quicker, not nice and easy. And on that one, you're close enough, just give him an underhand toss. <clears throat> underhand toss and follow. It's hard. Okay. Now we, we, we need a call on that, don't we? Okay. Try that again. Try that again. We, we fooled you a little bit. Try it again. Go ahead. No matter where the ball is, it's got to be called. Somebody's got to feel it. The other guy's got to acknowledge it. Ball, ball. That's Take it. Ten. That's it. All right, go ahead. Any place. Any place is fine. Ball, ball. Take Take it. It. A little louder. A little louder. A little louder. Make sure your feet are set. Now, just, just one second. Remember, there's a time clock. There's no place on the field you see a clock, but it's inside your body. That runner's running so fast. You've got so much time to make the play, and you want to get that assembled in your head as quickly as you can, because some plays I have time to catch it. The clock says, i got plenty of time, and I throw. Other plays, it says, oh, the clock's running, and I don't have much time here, because the ball sits slow, the runner's fast. i got to get it and get it there. But if I have time, I want to take enough time to make a good throw, don't I? The more time I get, the easier it is to make a good throw. Here we go. Back, back. Plenty of time, at a baby. Good, good throw, at a boy. Good. Okay. 
Okay, and be looking at the ball as you're coming. Be looking for the ball, because he might get it to you early. But don't cheat to the bag too much. You might have to get that ball. He did give you a good call, though. Give me a good call. That's it, that's it. Now you did you did a real good job on that. If I if I don't if I hear him call the ball, I'm gonna go there. If I can't get the ball, I'm gonna go to first base. What does that tell the first baseman? I can't get it anyway, so you gotta call. I'm gonna get you can take your three steps and you gotta get it anyway. So if you head out for the bag, you're saying ahead of time, I can't get to it. I know I can't sit too hard. And that's good. Hello, baby. That's it. Good, good. Good call and way to stop and get yourself collected. That a boy. Ball, ball, ball. Back, back. Okay, now let's change groups.